I'm sitting in the yurt, nestled in one of the many valleys of the Texas Hill Country. The familiar smell of the canvas walls, scented by years of burning incense and beeswax candles, while the water in the creek moves talkatively downstream, slowly finding its way to the Pardonaus River, and eventually to Lake Travis. The air is warm and moist in my throat. I know I'm not really in the yurt. I'm lying in Shambhala Hall on the Naropa campus in the year 2014, with acupuncture needles sticking out of my ears and forehead, the left Shenmen point throbbing. That's the point of the ear that relates to matters of the heart. The yurt has been gone for over three years now, but every detail is still burned into my memory. Labor Day, 2011, I'm sitting in the 305 in Snow Lion with the fast friends I have made in the previous two weeks. My phone rings. It's my brother. He never calls me. I step onto the porch and sit down as his words float through the airwaves. 47.3% of all acreage burned in the United States in 2011 was in Texas. 1,939 families left without a home in one weekend. The yurt wasn't included in that count. Most people wouldn't see it as a home. Most people's childhood memories don't include bathing in a creek or peeing outside in the middle of the night too tired to walk up the hill to the composting toilet or picking figs from a tree that grew next to the part of the valley my sisters and I called Fairy Pond. I can't go back for Thanksgiving. The idea of facing the reality of the loss is too much. Maybe it wasn't real. Maybe if I just stay away, surrounded by people who don't know me, that side of me, don't know the land, maybe it would go back to the way it was. I come home over Christmas break and walk down the path I used to run down full speed, eyes closed and never miss a beat. I stop. There it is. Was. There is nothing left of the glass cross my mom kept on the altar or the little German figurines my dad had brought us after his great-grandfather's funeral, save for pools of glass covered in mangled mesh and melted canvas and ash. Everywhere, ash. I feel something new, lost, utterly powerless. I am back in the yurt, surrounded by flames. I know it's a dream, but in my mind, I feel that if, just if, I could will the flames to go away, I could save it. Still, quiet, cool. Then the flames return and I am surrounded. Back to a point in time, a memory I couldn't be there for. As I sit in the yurt, I know all I can do is let go and sink into the earth feeling its moist, cool touch keep me safe. I open my eyes. I'm back in Shambhala Hall, knowing that the yurt has been burned into my heart as much as my memory.